Hi New Life. There's nothing normal about the new normal. It's now normal to use words like crisis, chaos and Zoom. These are some of the words that I don't really like to hear. Unprecedented, virus, postponed. And I'm a bit tired already of using these words, quarantine, distancing, cancelled, grief. This past week, I've been drawn to Jesus' prayer in John 17. It's a prayer in the midst of unprecedented chaos. Jesus is distanced from his disciples. He's feeling alone. It's a time of deep worry and grief. He's anticipating the intense crisis of his crucifixion. Now, Jesus' prayer has been steadying me. Jesus entrusts himself to his Father's plan, a plan to bring eternal life to light for the glory of Jesus. Jesus prays for his disciples that they might stand firm in belief. And Jesus prays for all believers. He prays for you and for I that we might be united in belief. Let me read just two verses for you now. If you stick around at the end of the video, I'll read uh, the whole of chapter 17. But Jesus says this, I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, so that they, that's you and I, may be brought to complete unity. New Life, we've been isolated and disconnected by COVID-19. <clears throat> For two weeks, we've given ourselves to hope-filled lament for ourselves and for our world. This weekend, I'm urging us to join in Jesus' urgent prayer for unity. We so easily become disconnected from one another, even when we're not isolated. In normal operation, we can take unity for granted. We can let ourselves just drift away from real spiritual connection. And that's never good for us. God has made us for spiritual connection with one another. And without this connection, we're in danger of spiritual death. I'm very sensitive today to our growing digital fatigue. We're online for work. We're online for connecting with one another. We're online for school and education. This digital fatigue, it's, it's, it's building in me. I'm just a bit tired of being on screen and online. Now, it's really important for me and for you to take rest from screens and online engagement. And so this weekend, I want to encourage you that as you take rest, to make some deliberate space for making a spiritual connection with other believers at New Life. That might need to be some of your online time this weekend. We're going to be in this season of isolation for many more weeks yet. And we're going to need a, a growing connection with one another so that we might navigate this together with Jesus. If you're in a life group already, your leader will be connecting your group together this weekend. Other people, you'll hear from a care leader who is going to connect with you. And if you don't hear from someone, for whatever reason that might be, please let me know so that you're not left alone. Attached to this announcement is another resource that you can use for self-guided meditation and discussion in our homes and to focus our prayers in on prayer for unity. Now, hey, I'm really looking forward to our Resurrection Sunday gathering. On that Sunday, we're going to launch our first New Life at Home Sunday. 
It'll be our ongoing way for gathering together each Sunday. You'll hear more about it during next week. But between now and next Sunday, here's some opportunities to be connecting with one another. Our daily prayer meetings on Zoom at 7, 11, 7 through to Good Friday. We're going to do a hymn fest at 7 o'clock uh, next Thursday on Zoom with a collection of uh, Bible readings and prayers reflecting on the hymn, Who is He? And there'll be a video provided of that later. Good Friday. I'm going to record for you and provide a video with a Good Friday message and guide you through a remembrance meal that you could share with others in your home. Let's be connecting with one another that we might navigate this together with Jesus. Now, if you can stick around for just a couple more moments, uh, let me read for you from John chapter 17. After, after Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and he prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. Now that they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I am in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you have loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, Though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. 
I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Amen. New Life, let's navigate this together with Jesus.